Uh, my name is Christine Lee, and I go to the Lunan School, and I'm a seventh grader. And um, my piece is a self-portrait, and we took um, the art of other famous artists, and I chose Miro, and we took one of their pieces of arts, and we um, we um, put it into our portrait, and we made we changed it any way we wanted to, and we could put, insert our face into it. My name is Samaya Mohodin and I'm from the Linden School and I'm in grade 6. My piece is you have to take two objects and you have to morph them together. You put like the regular piece on one side and another regular piece on the other side. In the middle, it's how they look together, mixed. And that's my piece. Well, you'll tell me it was supposed to be like an African style um, club, so I just thought of that. I'm Tina Din. I'm from Linden Middle School and I'm 14 years old. Basically, we had to just take a photo of like just being normal and then like we actually just do a silly face. I actually tried doing one, but then I ended up just laughing. So, yeah. Hi, my name is Asif Haider. I go to Linden School. And this was my art project, and we did graffiti. And as you can see, I, I used lots of paint for the background. And I used a little detail by doing dots. And then for my words, I, used, I drew it out and used mostly pink and lots of bright colors. Um, I'm Bestine Kong. I'm 12 years old and I'm in seventh grade. We did a manga project. And um, I chose this for my manga character. Draw it with the copy again on the Sharpie on here. Oh, it's a Sharpie? Yeah. Yeah, okay. And then it's... And then we have to flip it around and, mm -hmm. and recolor it on the back. Uh -huh. So what did you color it with? Oh, just paint. It's a regular, was it oil paint or? Um, no. My name is Timur Barillo. I'm 12 years old and I'm from the Linden School. This is a morphing objects piece. It, I morph a small bright can into a, with a, um, Pet it the pestle and I created well, this. I don't even I don't really know what to call it, but it's a personal mandala, so everything is a symbol about themselves. And so they've yeah. got the, the ge geometric shapes and math incorporated. And, and now the Dalai Lama's in Boston, so they now oh. know, wow, mandalas. Yeah, <laughs> no, The uh, mandalas, of course, um, mandalas we talk about uh, particularly, be they start with Tibet, um, but then they are also in the southwestern Native American culture. But uh, with I show I love the examples of of um, the Tibetan monks and how they make a sand mandala and I show that to the students and but they need to use their own symbols because they don't need to share any other thoughts of other religions they need to look at themselves and they think about what they're compassionate about they think about what they'd like to do for the future they think about what's important to them so all these have symbols that are evident or not so evident <laughs> these are basically styrofoam prints uh, they use block printing inks and they use a, a pencil to make an impression on the uh, on the styrofoam after they've made some um, uh, some layouts and sketches on the same size paper. And they lightly transfer it on, and then they really make a strong indentation. Um, the second step is to cut out the animal. And that's the reason why on the finished print you see the animals in one set of colors and the background is in another set of colors. So they print the background first. Uh, using a, kind of a split fountain is what they used to call it. Uh, just basically doing two or three inks and with the brayer just slightly mixing them. And once they do the background and they take the animal, you do it in another set of colors and make another impression and then you get the, it, it has sort of, it's sort of a silk screen type of effect. And then the students choose the colors, they choose the colored paper, they choose the inks that they're going to use and uh, it's, it's 
the overall, I think the, the, it's one of the more enjoyable pieces that, that I've done this year. It's very uh, overall very high quality work and a lot of fun too. I think art is important because it's a way that people express like their feelings and um, use it to remember important moments in their life. Art's important because it's a way to express yourself and it's really fun. He expresses the way you are by just drawing out what you think and I express most of my feelings by drawing. It expresses the way you think about stuff and it shows your creativity. Well, art is important because it, it gives you a way to express your uh, feelings and emotions and just fun.